In order to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles, it could not be easier. If you're struggling at all in terms of what to do, then come and see a pelvic health physio. But otherwise, all you need to do is to activate the muscle. You need to imagine that you're stopping wind. So this means that you should feel a tightening and a lift sensation that originates from the back passage or from the rectum. And then you just let go again. So you get this elevation and tension as you squeeze and then a relaxation and lowering as you, let, as you let go again. And it couldn't be simpler than that. If you do have any pelvic floor symptoms such as leaking or prolapse, then I would really recommend doing 20 squeezes a day that are short and 20 squeezes a day that are long. So they're exactly the same thing, it's just how long you're holding them for. The short squeezes, you squeeze and then you just let go again straight away. The long squeezes, you squeeze in exactly the same way. You try to hold for 10 seconds and then you let go again. If you can't quite hold for 10 seconds to begin with, don't worry, this is completely normal. If you can perhaps hold for two or three seconds, then just start there. And every week or two, just add one more second on until you get to be able to hold for 10 seconds. The position in which we do our pelvic floor squeezes also has an impact. So if they're new to you, start laying down as this is the easiest position to do them in. And then after a few weeks, sometimes a month or two, once they then feel really easy in, in lying, we can then progress on to sitting. Stay there for a good few weeks until you build up your holding and your repetitions again. Once they feel really easy in sitting, then you can practice in standing. So ideally, all of us should be able to hold for a full 10 seconds, 10 times in standing really easily and that more or less would give you a really good baseline function and strength of your pelvic floor. Flexibility is also as crucial as strength in our pelvic floor muscles. So to ensure that your pelvic floor is remaining flexible as well as increasing in strength, in between every single squeeze, just do a big breath in, breathe out and then start your next rep again. So take your time with them and don't forget, breathe in, breathe out, and then squeeze again. Mm -hmm.